One is an 11 to 2 direct route with 6 to 1 Chenkos, 7 to 1 Bellator, and 20 to 1 the Rag, the Outback Way. But once again, I cannot believe that Chuachev will win. Maybe it'll shorten a bit because. Tingle Creek Trophy. And on to the first of 14 fences, and they've gone off quick. The Outback Way is the first to go on last year's Murphy's Gold Cup winner as they fly the first. Fidelco is alongside both of these horses who have proven stamina beyond two miles, and they're clearly intent on making this a test, and not by much either. They are really trapping, and it's the Outback Way from Fidelco, and they are clear of Bellator in third place. Flagship of Boralis with Tuchev on the outside, direct route tucked away towards the inner and then Chenkos. On towards the third fence, and the outback way has beaten off the Delco for the time being. As they jump this one, good jumps behind. Tuchev a good jump into third from Bellator in the black jacket. Direct route over on the inside, red and yellow, as they jump the fourth in the outback way from Fidelco. Chased in third place, disputing third by Bellator and Tuchev. Chenkos on the outside, and then in the stars and stripes colors, flagship of Boralis, and finally direct route is held up in last place by Norman Williamson. They make their way towards the far side, the back straight, and it's the outback way. On the second of Venetia Williams is two runners here, the other being Bellator, the outback way by five lengths as they run along the back from Fidelco in second, then Bellator. Tuchev and flagship of Boralis and direct route on the inside of Chenkos as they clear the next. And gallop on towards the water jump, which is fence number six of the 14. And the outback way, there's no let up in the pace. Fidelco in second in the sheepskin noseband. They take this one, then Tuchev over in third place. Bellator just pushed along on landing there. Flagship of Boral is going well, direct route likewise on the right of picture. Chenkos on the wide outside. This is an open ditch at which Tuchev took off too far from that fence and was by no means fluent. And it's the outback way from Fidelco. Flagship of Boralis makes headway. Uh, the, the outback way perhaps just a bit short of room going into that fence and has angled towards Fidelco. They both cleared it well enough. Flagship of Boralis in third, then direct route, followed by Chenkos, Bellator, and Tuchev has just lost his position a little bit as they climb towards another open ditch. Fidelco goes on, stoked into the fence, great jump, the outback way hit it. Flagship Boralis on the outside goes second now, just ahead of the outback way. Then Bellator, Chenkos, direct route making headway. Tuchev is being niggled along at the rear as they run to the next plane fence and a flying leap there from Fidelco. Took him three or four lengths clear of Flagship Boralis with direct route a similar margin back in third place. Bellator goes into fourth. The outback way went too fast early on and is now fading fast. And then back to Chenkos and Tuchev who's Cut very little ice. They run towards the fourth last. Fidelco jumps it well. Flagship of Rural is screwed over in second. And then direct route. It's been a punishing pace here. They've still got a long way to go. Three fences to jump. But Fidelco, the horse in front, has got proven stamina as he nears towards three out. Flagship Uberalis is his nearest pursuer. Flat Fidelco landed, but flagship's getting a bit closer in second. Direct route in third. And then behind these chases Bellator, who's challenging direct route. Flagship Uberalis has ranged up on the outside of Fidelco as they run for the final turn. And flagship Uberalis and Richard Johnson having his first run for null chance against Tony McCoy on the inside aboard Fidelco. These two are clear in the Tingle Creek of Bellator in third and then direct route. Racing to two out, it's flagship of Boralis who's now beating off Fidelco. Flagship of Boralis landed five lengths clear and making it a bit more now from Fidelco. Then Bellator, direct route and Chenkos, very tired horses behind. But it's flagship of Boralis who won this race 12 months ago in a very close finish with direct route. He's going to win it a lot easier this time. Coming back from a couple of disappointing runs at the end of last season. Season, but flagship of Boralis, the 1999 Arkle Trophy winner here at Cheltenham, returns to Cheltenham to win the Tingle Creek in second for Dalco, Bellator in third. They're a long way clear of Chenkos and then direct route the outback way and Tuchev, a lacklustre display by Tuchev. The market told you beforehand what would happen to him. Flagship Uberalis, the three to one favourite and winner of this double print Tingle Creek trophy. Is second for Dalco, third Bellator, and the tote dividends are win 360, places 190 and 240. The exacta, first and second on the tote, 1930. Computer straight in the bookies, 40.